Is the user date different than the system date regarding running the 2016 payroll in 2015? Um, the, the user date and the system, and basically um, the user date by default is the system date unless you change it. So down here in the bottom left-hand corner, this is the this defaults to the system date, but you can click on it and actually change it, and then that changes the user date. So this is in like particular if you're running like um, quarterly reports and stuff like that. So they are different, but they default to the same unless you click on here and change the user date. So you usually need to do this when you're running, like if it's January and you want to run last year's quarterly reports. So what you usually do there, now keep in mind this will stay the date you mark unless you change it back or you log off the of GP and log back in. When you first log into GP, it defaults your system date, which is your computer date in here. But like if you're going to go and you want to run, um, your reports and this happens when you're kind of like running your period end reports and things like that. This is strictly date driven so there's no problem but when you're doing things that are based on months like these quarters right here you have to backdate in order to run October, November and December of last year's if you're already in the new year. So that's where this comes into play. So that's where you want to change your user date in order to get this printed after you roll into January. But from a GP standpoint, um, other than like these reportings, it really is based on, um, you know, kind of the system date. So you don't have to close the year right in the year. Like I could create my year-end wage file January 31st if I wanted, if I hadn't done another payroll and, and loaded my tax tables. So hopefully that answers um, the question about user date 